simplify if you like our videos then don't forget to subscribe to promote our channel hormonal control of the gastrointestinal tract from guyton and hall lecture number three hormones hormones are chemical messengers that are secreted directly into the blood which carries them to organs and tissues of the body to exert their functions here you can see that this is a nerve which is releasing its neurotransmitters which are acting on the cell and this cell is releasing its hormones in response to this stimulation. These hormones are diffusing into the blood and through the blood they are transported to their target cells or tissues where they bind to their specific receptors. The effects of hormones persist even after nerve stimulation has stopped because hormones have already binded to their target receptors. Here you can see all the different types of important hormones of the GIT. This is the cardio of the stomach, fundus, body and, and antrum of the stomach. And this is the pyloric sphincter of the stomach, this is the duodenum and this is the vagus nerve which is giving its fibers to different cells of the stomach. Let's start with G cells. G cells are stimulated by proteins, distension of the stomach and vagus nerve. Vagus nerve releases a neurotransmitter called gastrin releasing peptide. These stimulate the G cells which release gastrin hormone. Gastrin hormone acts in two ways. Either it directly stimulates the parietal cells and make them release HCL and intrinsic factor or it stimulates the enterochromaffin like cells which release histamine and then this histamine acts on the parietal cells and make them release HCL and intrinsic factor. The other function of gastrin hormone is that it promotes growth of gastric mucosa to protect the stomach walls against the acid that has been released. Eye cells Eye cells are present in duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. They release cholecystokinin, which is released in response to proteins, fats, and acids, but mainly in response to, response to fats and their digestive products. Cholecystokinin contracts the gallbladder to release its bile into the small intestine where it emulsifies the fats. It also stimulates the pancreatic juice secretions and it inhibits the stomach wall contractions. To allow the food already present in a small intestine to be digested and absorbed before further food comes in. It also sends signals through the vagus nerve to the brain feeding center to inhibit appetite. S cells are present in the duodenum, jejunum and ileum. S cells secrete hormone called secretin in response to gastric acid emptying into the duodenum. The secretin also promotes secretion of pancreatic juice. This juice has bicarbonates in it so it neutralizes the acid that has come into the duodenum. K cells. K cells are present in the duodenum and jejunum. They secrete gastric inhibitory peptide which is also called glucose, in, glucose dependent insulinotropic peptide in response to fatty acids, amino acids and carbohydrates. It stimulates release of insulin and inhibits gastric emptying and gastric acid secretion. M cells of the stomach and duodenum secrete motilin when a person is in the state of fasting which increases gastric motility it is released cyclically so gastrointestinal waves are formed in every 90 minutes and it is inhibited when food is ingested thank you